Hi everyone, this is Adam from Recreation Services and this week I want to talk a little bit about compound exercises for beginners. So a compound exercise is an exercise that uses multiple muscle groups and better stimulates how your body moves naturally. In contrast to that, an isolation exercise is something that uses one particular muscle group. So where a chest press might be a compound exercise, a tricep extension or a chest fly might be an isolation exercise using some of the same muscle groups, but you would have to do both those exercises to use some of the muscles that you would use in a single chest press. So why are compound movements a good thing to implement? One of the best reasons to implement a compound exercise or multiple compound exercises into your workouts is that it better replicates how you move in daily activity. So when you're picking up a bag of dog food off the floor, or carrying a child, you're not using a single muscle group. You're using multiple muscle groups at the same time to get these movements done. So many compound exercises help replicate those kinds of movements where you need to recruit all these different muscle groups at the same time. On top of that, it's much more efficient. So you get to target all these different muscle groups with fewer exercises. So why would you do three exercises when you can do one and get the same amount of work done? Wow. And lastly, building on top of building on the theory that you're using more muscle groups is that you will also use more energy because you're using more muscle groups. So a bicep curl, isolating a very small muscle group where if you're doing, you know, a pull up or a lat pull down or something like that, you're using your biceps, but you're also using your lats and your traps and your rhomboids. So you're using a lot more muscle groups, which are also using energy. So you get to burn a lot more energy uh, in the same amount of time. So I'm going to go over a few sample exercises, sample compound exercises that you can do. We'll go over a few body weight versions and then some barbell versions that you can progress to or build to. So some body weight compound exercises would be something like push-up variations. Uh, if you wanted to make a push-up easier, you would go from your knees. You can make it harder by elevating your feet. And when you do a, a push-up, you're using your chest, your deltoids, uh, your triceps, and also your core to stabilize your trunk. Another kind of anterior chain exercise, um, body weight exercise would be a dip. So you could do this either from a bench or a hanging dip. Um, you could do weighted dips. So there's a bunch of different variations there. You could do an assisted dip if you're not quite ready for either of those. For a posterior chain, you could do something like an inverted row. So standard would be, you know, from the feet on the floor. If you want to make this a little harder, you would have your feet elevated. Uh, to make it a little easier, you could bend your knees and kind of shorten your lever there. Another pulling exercise you could do is a pull-up or a chin-up. Uh, variations of this could be either an assisted pull-up or a weighted pull-up if you want to step up. And these kind of pulling exercises will help you emphasize your biceps, your lats, your traps, your rhomboids, as well as your core. And the more standard body weight uh, compound for the lower body would be a body weight squat, so an air squat, uh, using your quads and your glutes and your hamstrings and your core. Um, a step up from that could be a goblet squat, so you're holding a little bit of weight in front of you to add a little bit of weight. So those would be some body weight versions you could do. Um, if you want to then progress to barbells, uh, some options would be a barbell squat, and that can be either a front squat or a back squat. The front squat would help you emphasize the quads a little more. And then if you go to the back squat, you're starting to use your glutes and your hamstrings a little more as well. But in both those, you're also still emphasizing your core as well as your upper body because you need to brace uh, through your shoulders uh, holding the bar. So you're going to get a little bit of work through your upper body as well, but more in a stabilizing fashion. Other barbell exercises for the lower body specifically uh, would be deadlifts. So you could do a conventional deadlift where you're using your quads a little more, but you're also really stressing your erectors in your back, as well as your glutes and your hamstrings, also your traps, lats, rhomboids, also stabilizing the bar. When you get to a Romanian deadlift, you're starting to emphasize more hamstrings, less quadriceps, because now you're not doing any knee extension. So you're really shifting the emphasis to the posterior chain. So a lot of hamstrings, glutes, erectors, uh, as well as those traps and rhomboids, same thing, stabilizing the bar and maintaining posture. And one more uh, lower body barbell exercise would be a barbell lunge, typically done with the bar over the back, like it would be in a back squat, but you could also do a front rack position. Again, or emphasizing the, quadri the quadriceps, the hamstrings, the glutes, as well as the core. 
When we shift to the upper body, the bench press is probably the most common one. So similar to a push-up, but now we're just adding a little more load here. So triceps, pectorals, deltoids, core. You can also do a seated overhead press or military press. So there you're kind of shifting now vertically. So now you're emphasizing your trapezius, deltoids, and also still the triceps because it is still a pushing motion. And then a good back exercise for a compound movement is a bent over row. So you're kind of in a Romanian deadlift kind of stance, uh, but now you're maintaining that posture and you're just rowing with the arms. So you're using your lats, your biceps, your forearms, so building that grip strength, as well as the rhomboids and the, and the lower traps. So you can see all these exercises use a combination of muscles, good way to get a lot done in the same amount of time, targeting all these different muscle groups. If you are new to compound movements, we recommend starting with uh, the body weight version and maybe implementing one or two compound movements per workout and then kind of build from there. When choosing some of these compound movements to put in, especially in the, in the lower body, I like to think of it as how much they emphasize anterior posterior chain. So if you're new to compound lifts or if you're new to lifting in general, um, you're probably doing more of a full body lift or upper body, lower body, rather than kind of an anterior chain, posterior chain kind of split. So if you're doing a full body workout, I try and pair up lower body exercises with the emphasis. So say if I'm doing a front squat, which really targets the quadriceps, then I might do a Romanian deadlift, which really targets the hamstrings. Or I might kind of meet in the middle and do a back squat and a conventional deadlift where they're both kind of closer to the middle and less extreme uh, on either end. So you think about that when you're trying to pair up compounds, when you're starting to implement more than one, uh, but that's a kind of a, a thought process you can use when you're trying to select which ones you wanna to pair together uh, once you start doing more than one. If you are trying to transition from body weight compounds to barbell compounds, uh, it's good to practice your technique. Maybe use a broomstick or something instead of a barbell so you can work on your technique without the load. And uh, if you can do it maybe in front of a mirror at home or film yourself at home, since we don't allow videos in the Active Living Center, but film yourself at home and maybe compare yourself to some videos so you can work on your technique without the load. When you feel comfortable with the, with the technique, then you can start adding an actual barbell and put some weight on there and start going from there. But really try and maybe do some sets with just a broomstick or a dowel. We have dowels in the Active Living Center that you can use and kind of work through your techniques. If you are working on it in the Active Living Center, also feel free to ask a fitness attendant to come look at, look at it and give you some pointers, give you some feedback. And that's a good way to uh, kind of get used to it and get some get some technique tips and, and do some fine tuning. So I hope that helps. I hope you can implement some compound movements into your workouts, get more bang for your buck and keep progressing. Good luck.